easy is it to create your own email template in Constant Contact? Really simple. I am going to show you in the next few minutes how you can do that for yourself. So let me share my screen. Here is my Constant Contact account. It's coming up. Here you can see your dashboard and everything that you need to know as you log into the account. This is my demo account, so there's not a huge amount in here. What we want to do first is go to create and send an email and this will wear up, bring up quite a few templates. And you can see here, there's a lot of templates. You can see here that there are templates that are for my industry, consulting, there are featured templates. There's a ton of stuff in here that you can use. But what I want to do is show you how easy it is to do this. And I'm going to start from scratch and it's going to come up with a blank here. I'm going to show you how you can build this in Constant Contact really easily. So first of all, we're going to go to the design folder. I don't like these dark backgrounds and um, they make everything more difficult to read, oh, more difficult to read in emails. So I'm not going to have a dark background and I'm not going to have an outer border. Now, my inner background is white and I'm going to change my divider colors and my divider colors, my brand colors are already plugged into uh, Constant Contact. But my divider colors are going to be blue and I'm going to change there. Looking at my fonts, I usually use Roboto for my fonts. That's one of my brand fonts. So I'm going to change that and the color to my purple. And you can see that that's changed there. The body text I'm also going to change to Roboto. It's to limit your font choices to one or two fonts per your per email design, just to make it make sure that it's not too busy. And I like to have my font size at eighteen and black in color, so it's a good contrast against the white background. It makes it easy to read. And my body links are going to be my lime green. And I'm going to underline that so that people know that it's a link. And you can see that there's lots of other parts you can change down here. But that's all I'm going to change for this. And I'm going to change the button color. So that is also my lime green. Also going to change that to the robot post. So my fonts are consistent all the way through. Radius, I'm going to stick at 26 because rounded buttons get more click-throughs. They get higher click-throughs. Excuse me. And the border colour is going to be that same green. When I first started my new business, I only had two colours, the purple and the green. Um, and I've been consistently with, with the cut green in creating buttons and links. So here we are. I'm going to just delete that content there and we're going to start from scratch. So the first thing that we're going to put in is an image here. Um, what that's going to do is going to, we're going to put in the, the logo, the header image. If I click replace and go to my folders, I use this as my header image, which is my newsletter's name, so the marketing morsel. Click and drag that and make it bigger. Always link your images. So I'm going to link that to my coaching page on my website. So anyone who clicks on that will, will go straight to my coaching page. It would be good to sometimes have a title before the a heading, before the next part. So I'm going to drag in a heading there. You can see that I picked Roboto and Purple, and that is what has come across so I don't have to change every single font type, size and colour because I've changed all the universal settings in this design pack. The next thing I'm going to do is pull across another image block so I can have an image here if I wish to. And then I'm going to pull in a text block and in here I'm going to leave the default text block. Press enter. I like to dress my my subscribers, my readers, I like to address them by their first name. So I go into contact and find that first name field and add in hello at the beginning or hi, uh, however you um, however you address people, hi, first name. And then I've got some text that I can fill in when I actually create my email. We're not going to forget our buttons. I'm going to put it here, but sometimes it changes where I, I put it. And you can see that it's 
rounded corners, the green and the text is white and bold, so that's great. And I'll add in another little piece of text here with the final. So that'll be my last little bit of whatever I want to say before I finish the email. And I'll put in another image here. And this is for my signature. So let's go back to this folder. Here's my signature. Pop that in there. And of course, we can add a link to that because that's an image too. So I'll add the same link, that image, and I'll pop that over to the left. And that's it. That is your template. Now, you might want to add other things. So you might have a, a footer block that perhaps you've got an office that people can visit and you want to put your address in there or your opening hours or whatever that is. So you can put that in there. Now, generally my footer, what I would put in here will be the fact that I'm a, because I'm a limited company, I need to have at the bottom of every email, my limited company name. And I'm trading as marketing by now with my registered address and my company registration number. So that goes on the bottom of every email. I don't have that to hand, so I'll just put in a, a block here and I'll put dark And then I would go on to the address details. So that, that can be a bit smaller. It doesn't have to be massive, but it needs to go on there if you're a limited company. At this point, what I'm going to do is pull in a divider to here, and that divider will go there. You can see it's that blue ad that I picked for my divider, so I'm just going to make it look a bit more visible by making it the line a bit thicker. And I am going to add in this social follow block. And you can see it changed there. It changed from what was default, because I've done this before, to the two social networks that I use and if I click edit you can see that there are different format bubbles that you can use and the, the icons and different colours so because it's a white background I'll keep the logos and you can see because I have used this before it's populated my links but you will copy and paste your company your page links for whatever your social networks are that you're using. So that's on, on the bottom there. Now, I really, I give exclusive tips in my emails. So, and they're only for my subscribers. I don't share them anywhere else. So I don't make this email shareable, but for the purposes of what you might want to do, you might want people to be able to share your email with their followers and their contacts. So you can use this social share button block and bring it across. And you can see that it's put, Popped in this block and it says you can share this email. You can edit that so you can decide what colors and you can actually make these your brand colors, which is nice. And you can decide where people can share. So I'm, I'm not really interested in X. What I want people to do is forward the email to their contacts and you can change the order that things come in. So I might put email at the front and I might put LinkedIn next and Facebook after that. So once that's in there, it means that every time you create your email, those social share icons will be there and your readers will be able to share your email. In this block here, you can see that you can change the from name. So you could I've put your name and quite often I send from Manal Patel or sometimes I will use marketing by Manal. You can change email addresses if you've got more email, want more than one email address in here. And of course, you can change the subject line and the pre-header text. Neat little thing here. You can use the AI to get it to recommend subject lines and pre-headers. Once you've written your email, it will go through the content and pull out some subject lines and pre-headers that you might want to use. But that is our complaint. Done from scratch, no hassle, drag and drop, pulling stuff in. The last thing I want to do is name this so that I know what it is. So I'm asking it more so template play May. I'll save that. And what I'll do is go back to my dashboard. And you'll see that template has this popped up here that we've created. And what I can do is copy that to create a new email from it. Let's just click on this view more actions and see what comes up. So that pops me over this campaign page. 
And you can see that template here. And if I click on those three dots now, I can actually save this as a template. So I'm going to do that. I'll leave the same title and click Save. And what this is going to do is really speed up how you create your emails because now you've got that base template if we go back into create a campaign and click on email it will work through and bring up the templates that we've got and here we've got saved templates and if i click on that here is the template that we've just created you can click on that and create that email that you want to send within 15 minutes as long as you've got what you're going to say you're not going to sit there and decide what you're going to say as, as you're writing it if you've got a plan you can create that email in less than 15 minutes you've got the template and it's really going to help you to get there faster i hope that's helped you to understand how to use constant contact you can see that it's really easy to use it's drag and drop you can build your own template very, very easily. But if you're a little bit nervous about doing that, there are hundreds of templates that are pre-built that you can choose that you can then customize and make your own. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Um, let me know how you're using Constant Contact. Please do subscribe to my channel.